Hey, good morning or night or whatever it is that you guys are, maybe day or night, I don't know, whenever you're watching this, but hey, good day to you, cousins. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm here with my good friend, RC. He uh, sits over in the corner and doesn't say anything. He's kind of like uh, the uh, teller to my pen. Is that what it, is that, is that right? Pen and teller? Teller's the one that speaks or no? I don't know. But anyway, RC doesn't talk. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So, hey, uh, just uh, doing some videos tonight. We had some time. Uh, sorry, I haven't been posting anything a whole lot here lately. I haven't really posted a lot since December. You know, like a great Christmas present, man. Well, I've had heart troubles, and I had to go in. I had to see my heart doctor and do a bunch of stuff. So, anyway, got all that stuff done, and I've recuperated. Now I'm back, you know, and hey, I'm ready to go. So, it's good to see you guys. Hey, before we get started, click like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Just take a second. Hit like and subscribe. I don't know where it's going to be on here, but somewhere I'm pointing at something. Hit like and subscribe because, uh, you know, you guys want to be a part of what we're doing here on BC Tactical. And what is it that we're doing? We're talking about cool stuff. We're talking about other cool stuff. And then sometimes we talk about uncool stuff. You never know what we're going to talk about. But... I can tell you right now, uh, from the bottom of my heart, that uh, whatever we tell you is absolute truth. I'll never lie to you. And each one of you that subscribe out there becomes a BC Tactical cousin. That's right. Cousin. So when I crank up the uh, the old uh, camcorder thing here and I say, howdy cousins, that's you, my friends. That's you. So... Click like, subscribe, whatever, touch touch the bell, and, and some of that will happen. So, we've got some new things going on. <clears throat> we uh, <clears throat> we have RC uh, coming up with these grand ideas all the time, and I'm so thankful for him and his vision. Uh, you know, he is the reason that we can, <laughs> that we can bring you uh, this <laughs> quality programming that you have become accustomed to. Absolutely. Quality programming that you become accustomed to. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be answering some viewer emails and stuff like that. So we've got, uh, let me look here, see what we've got. Okay. We've got some email questions that people have sent. And uh, we've also got something crazy sitting over here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with it, but uh, I've been told about it. Here we go. It's the Death Star. It's the Death Star cookie jar. Death Star cookie jar. And what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to open up the Death Star cookie jar and see what's in there and talk about it. And I don't know what's in the Death Star cookie jar. Now, why are we doing this Death Star cookie jar thing? I think it's because um, we didn't have anywhere else to put the Death Star cookie jar. I mean... It ended up here in the man cave, also known as Studio 3, and, uh, you know. But how cool is that, man? It's a Death Star cookie jar. So, what are we going to talk about today? Let's find out exactly what is in the Death Star cookie jar. Are we ready? <laughs> oh, man, we got a lot of stuff in the Death Star cookie jar. I'm not sure exactly what all this is in here, but the first thing I see is a pink Starburst. In the Death Star cookie jar, which I will definitely talk about the pink starburst because the pink starburst is my favorite. I also see yellow in there. You know why the yellow one's in there? Because nobody else likes it either. But I sure do love a pink starburst, and I like taking up time unwrapping the pink starburst. That starburst has been in there a while. <laughs> wow, man. Whoa. That sour burst just turned into a nanolator. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Wow. Death Star cookie jar. What is this in the Death Star cookie jar? Tull ammo. T U L A M M O. Tull ammo. Let's talk about Tull ammo for a second. This is 223. Made in Russia. Russia. Which is probably not super popular right now. Probably ain't gonna get any more of this for a while. 
This is a steel jacket. A lot of people don't like the steel jacket. Uh, I think it'll mess up your guns or something, but I don't want. I don't know if I'd want to use it all the time in uh, Grandpappy's deer rifle. But in an AR-15 assault rifle, something like this, yeah, I'll use it in that. Anyway, I love a pink starburst, but those are the worst. Those have been in there for three years, dude. Anyway, so there we go. Tull ammo. Right now, I'm not sure about today's price, and I'm not sure when you're watching this video. It could be a year from now. I know it wasn't a year ago you're watching this video because I'm just making it today. But anyway, could be a year or two from now, so I don't know. But you can come back and be like, oh, that's how much ammo was back then. 37 cents a round. Case of a thousand. Ammunition Depot. They didn't give me nothing. They just had it cheaper than everybody else. So a uh, thousand rounds, $369. If it's your first order with Ammunition Depot, Damn. They'll give you free shipping on your first order. Literally, Ammunition Depot doesn't give me anything, doesn't ask me to say something nice or whatever. I'm just giving y'all the straight skinny. Ammunition Depot has it. It was 37 cents a round when I bought it, but that's been about a week or so ago. So I don't know if it's the same as it was. But anyway, so free shipping on your first order. So that's worth a lot. You know, you're talking 25, 26 pounds of ammo. Ah, Mountain Dew, one of our fam fantabulous sponsors, the only sponsor we've got now. But Mountain Dew, uh, Mountain Dew quenches all thirst. We love it here in the man cave. Also known as Studio 3. Now, one of my more popular videos. Let's get down to brass tacks. One of my more popular videos was the Amazon Tactical Walking Stick. And people say, Kelly, we have already seen this Tactical Walking Stick. You've made a video about it. Then you made another video about another walking stick that was a lighter weight version of this. And uh, probably not nearly as strong. That's true. I have. So... I've got this tactical walking stick, and there is a company that sells these on Amazon called AI Gear. Alpha India Gear. AI Gear. So here is this black. You can look at the knurled handles and uh, and all that. And, hey man, this thing is a beefy stick. Now it is heavy. It's heavy. So if you tote this out to the woods and carry it around, it's going to be heavy. But I'm going to tell you something, man. You can you can thump a hog with this thing, dude, and you got no problems. And, uh, you know, it's got these big, nice, super heavy, strong threads. You can't cross-thread it. I mean, it's just, this thing is made very, very well. It is a mucho satisfactory stick. You know, it's got a hammer end here. It's got a window breaker here, and you can turn this over to have like a T handle, so you can, all that stuff. But, this is where I'm going. AI Gear has another product or two, and one of them is another walking stick. Now, I've gone to AI Gear just to see what all they got. Comes packaged in a wonderful box, made of cardboard and everything. Inside you get this pouch. Now this is their other model. This is a different model than the other one. Okay? So here we go. Let's look at these. We got all these different little things that fit together. I'm just going to dump them all out. And see what all we got in this one. Now, uh, this one over here that I have shown before has knives and things and all that stuff. Comes packaged well in uh, what I call product condoms. So you never can be too careful. You know, I dig, uh, I dig safety. You can see me 
taking these condoms off and there is lots of stuff in this box. So this is a this is a different walking stick than we have seen from AI Gear. At least I have not done a review on this walking stick. And you're saying, Kelly, why didn't you just have all that crap open? I want I want you to see how it comes. I want you to see how you get it. I want you to see that it is wrapped in a condom. Uh, I want you to see what it looks like when I open it up. So look at this. Here it is with those super beefy, you got your uh, O-ring on there to keep uh, everything hopefully waterproof. And you got these heavy threads on there. And then you can see in the end there's, there's something in this one. I do believe. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But when you unscrew it, there you go. So you've got a knife. Is this a bet your life knife? No, this is a last ditch knife. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, if you if you want a bet your life knife, go to Randall. Spend six hundred dollars. Get you a bet your life knife. I'll bet my life on that. You know, Randall get you a bet your life knife. You can get bet your life knives for less than six hundred dollars, but uh, you know, you're not. You know what I'm saying? You can get a bet your life knife for a hundred bucks. You can get one for probably fifty bucks, depending on where you get it and who you buy it from and how old it is. But, I digress. So, look at this guy. I just put it on the end of this. It screws right on there like that. Now you've got a weapon. If I put a bunch of these together, guess what I'm going to have? An even longer weapon. Pretty soon, I'm going to have a spear. Look at that. So we got that little tool. I know that. So there's that guy. And on the side of it, it tells you, look, there's a knife right here in this section. So you know where the knife's at, so you ain't got to go looking for it. You know, if I put a knife in the first section, I'm going to know it's in the first section. But, you know, I forget stuff, too. So, I, don't, you know. Anyway, uh, here is another section that we got. And it's got a little picture on the side of it, too. What is that little picture of? What is that? I don't know. Let's open it up and look. It looks like some kind of little tool. Oh, it is a little tool. Look at that. And you uh, push a little button on the side, and it turns into a miniature scythe, man. So, uh, you know, there's another tool that you could utilize in a number of ways. Could be fishing. Could be uh, whatever. Is it a bet your life weapon? I doubt it. This is... Uh, this is first and foremost a walking stick, but I will say they've got good attention to detail. See on the back of this little man, they could have done cheap, uh, Charlie, uh, Charlie Jenkins job on it, but they've actually got it offset, double tooth, pretty thick, decent little knife, man. I, I can't really complain about that at all. So most companies don't do that. So, Hey, AI gear. We here at uh, BC Tactical salute you over something just as simple as uh, having the uh, offset teeth on the back of that. Now you get these tubes that you can see all the way through there. I'll flip that one right down over my knife. And as you can see, we're starting to make a, uh, a walking stick out of this thing. Here's another one. See through that. Now, I've had some people call me, uh, ask me a bunch of questions about these walking sticks. They sell different parts and pieces for these walking sticks. Will this piece fit that piece? Will this piece fit this piece? What if I got this? Can I get that? Well, I'm not sure if the threads are the same or not. The threads are not the same. So if you're ordering a walking stick from AI Gear, make sure you have whichever walking stick you're wanting to get. They look a little different. They have different part numbers. This is the way you can distinguish the two. One of them has uh, a compass and the other one does not. So the one that I had before did not have a compass. This one, the one that I just got, has a compass. I'm going to put this guy on top up here, I think. So this is part of the fun of this tool, is getting to configure the whole thing the way you want it. 
As you can see here on the bottom, we have this uh, piece on the bottom for hitting the hard land. We also have this piece. It's a whistle. I'm not going to blow it super loud because I don't want to hear a super loud whistle. But you could take that whistle off and just blow the whistle. Also, you have an empty container here. What would that be good for? You screw your whistle into it. You could put a lot of things in there. You could put screws in there. You could put nails in there. You could put uh, a survival kit in there, whatever you want. Now I take the end out and we've got a ferro rod. There's your ferro rod. And you've got all these hollow tubes that you could fill with whatever, you know. Get your Ziploc bag and put you some matches in there or whatever. So there's that full piece. So you got the bottom piece, which also has the ferro rod coming up in here. And then you have the whistle here. And I got to tell you, man, that, that's pretty heavy duty. It's not a plastic piece of crap. That's metal, dude. That's a heavy metal whistle. That's a pretty good piece of kit, man. And it just screws in the end, like so. Now, if you're a taller guy, you might want to order some of these, extra a couple of them. If you're a shorter person, you may not need to order any extra. You may need to take one off, depending on how short you are. I, you know, I don't know. So, anyway, all of these things come loose. And you got all of these cool tools in there. I got to figure out where to put this thing. This harpoony looking deal here. I got to figure out where it's going to go. Okay, I'm going to stick it right in this one. And that, I believe, is going to have me configured to have me a walking stick. Now, if you're wanting a cane, this comes with one, two, three, four, five sections. When you order it just like, just like it says, you're going to get five of those separate little barrel sections you're going to get the uh, the bottom section with the whistle you're going to get the uh, ferro rod end you're going to get the knife and you're going to get the little harpoon side looking thing and then you're going to get this top handle you can see it's got the threaded hole in the side you thread that on put it on and now you've got window breaker on this side You've got a hammer on this side, and you're thinking, man, now if you needed to use a hammer that long, maybe you're going to play croquet or something. I don't know. I don't know what people are going to do with theirs, but uh, you could just take off one section, if you know what I mean, and you could use this for a hammer so or a window breaker or whatever. Now, let's see. Okay. The window breaker end comes off, and what do we have here? We have a compass. Does it work? It absolutely does work. It spins and works. It's in liquid. You know, decent compass. It's like most of them in the industry they put in there. You know, it's going to be. It's not going to be some super expensive compass, but you know. Anyway, but you could crack it out of there and glue you another one in and replace it if you had to. So. Anyway, here we go. That is the full Monty right there. You got this big long walking stick with tools and weapons and you can fill it with whatever you want. This one is not as heavy as my other one, but this is more of a walking stick style, like a like a cane than, than like a full staff. So uh, the more stuff you add to it, the heavier it's gonna be. If you don't want a heavy one, get you a stick you know, broomstick with a nail on it or something. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, these are heavy duty and they're made for heavy duty use. So if you're looking around on Amazon, you're looking for a tactical walking stick that you can whoop something with, uh, that you can knock something back with, you know, you're always dealing with wild hogs out in the, you know, whatever. Uh, there you go, man. AI gear has some righteous stuff. I was really surprised and I'll tell you why. Because, you know, I'm an honest dude. And uh, stuff, you know, it comes from overseas somewhere. I have no idea where they make it. I have no idea where it comes from. And I get it, and it's a piece of junk. Then I get walking stick. And I ain't tore them up yet, man. I just got this one, but the other one, 
it's been solid, man. I have had no troubles with it. So anyway, there's that. AI gear, I salute you. You guys are now BC Tactical Cousins. All right, so we do have uh, some viewer mail that we're supposed to read out. I probably should have done that in the beginning, but I'm not, you know, this is new to me. I haven't done a video since December. It's crazy. So anyway, viewer mail. Uh, this isn't like mail they send to our mailbox. This is email. Uh, RC does most of the email stuff. Now, I, I do uh, comment. If uh, you guys leave me a comment down there in the comment section, I, I love to comment back to people. So I definitely will comment back to you. You know, I can't do it 100% of the time. I miss a few, I'm sure. But I, I try to comment to pretty most pretty much most everybody, except for people that call me bad names or baldy locks and stuff like that. You know who you are. So anyway, all right, but these are emails that people have sent and, uh, and want questions. All right, so this comes from Sarah. Sarah in, uh, in Wisconsin. Hey, Sarah, how are you today? Nice to, uh, nice to know you guys are watching up there in Wisconsin. I really appreciate this. So Sarah in Wisconsin has a question. Kelly, what is all that stuff on the wall behind you in your videos? Well, thank you, Sarah, for that question. I have a lot of stuff behind me on the wall. Uh, one of the things, I'm, I'm a huge Rambo fan, so I have a Rambo knife here. And then I have a Rambo like a, a newspaper clipping. Of course, it's not a real one. It was a movie. You know what I mean? So anyway, a Vietnam soldier in hiding. I have a, uh, a gun rack with uh, some of my rifles there. Uh, I've got a couple of big Bowie knives back here. I've got one from sawmill cutlery on top here. Made out of an old saw blade. I got one that's the, uh, that's the uh, Davy Crockett edition from Case Double X. I got this one over here that is a Confederate D-Guard Bowie that belonged to Private Samuel Baker, which is a little picture of him right in there. And uh, Private Samuel Baker enlisted in Chalk Bluff, Arkansas. And uh, not really because he wanted to fight, but he was starving to death. <laughs> I'm signing up for the heart attack. You know that's starving, brother. <laughs> but anyway, so there's a few of the things. Let's see if I can get this moving around whoa okay i got it moving around so let's see sarah if i can okay so here's some rifles i got a 30 30 up there 243 there's a 22 savage below that so 243 that's actually my daughter's and then i've got the 30 30 and then i've got the 22 savage then i've got a cva uh that's a 50 caliber and it's just a cva wolf just a cheap you know uh inexpensive uh, black powder rifle. And uh, the reason that I have that is because it shoots just as good as a $500 one. Uh, I've never had any problem taking deer with it. So I really like it. CVA, uh, you can see up there, I've got uh, another big crazy looking butcher knife up there and uh, hatchet. I've got a couple of hats, got a crossbow and oh, that's interesting. I've got, uh, that's a painting that I did that says, uh, you don't just turn it off. You just, you just don't turn it off. And that, of course, that's a, that's a picture, uh, that I did of the Rambo, the Rambo knife. So that's a painting I did of the Rambo knife. That's what a fan I am. So you can, there you go. Maybe you can see it better like that. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. So that's the stuff that's kind of behind me. Uh, I've got a, an old crusty couch in here that nobody wanted. So I got it in the man cave. It's got, uh, my old, uh, wool blanket on there and, uh, it's got a throw on there. It's got a pillow that my mother made me. It's also Rambo. Uh, but anyway, uh, my mother made me that pillow. Gave that to me for my birthday. So anyway, and, uh, you know, trusty M4 sitting over here beside me. I think y'all saw that earlier. But there you go. So that's what I've got uh, sitting behind me. And uh, there you go. So I hope that answers your question, Sarah. All right. So we'll have to do some more viewer mail later on or something because uh, we're looking at 25 minutes of me rambling on. But anyway, hey, thank you, cousins, for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Hey, throw some prayers out. 
to your brothers and sisters out in the Ukraine. Uh, let me take just a minute to give them one right here with you. If you don't mind, if you don't want to pray, if you don't like prayers, hey, time to shut me off, man. Time to shut me off. But here we go. Lord, I want you to watch over the, uh, the people in the Ukraine. I want you to watch over the people on the other side, both sides of this conflict. I want you to help their leaders uh, make good decisions, and I want you to watch over them and hold them close and be with them and uh, help them through this horrible situation. So thank you, Lord, for all of the blessings that you've given us, and thank you, Lord, for being with us each and every day. We love you, Lord. Thank you. All right. So, hey, I hope I didn't turn anybody off of that, but... That's just who I am. So uh, maybe that's something that we'll add. The good, the good, uh, good Lord needs to watch out for us right now. The world's in chaos. If you don't believe that, get ready to see it soon because there's some crazy stuff happening out there. So anyway, for Kelly, R.C. Burns here at BC Tactical, we love you cousins, and uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. So. Hey, give us a comment or shout out, like, subscribe, bell, all that stuff. So thank you guys so much. God bless you.